Hey, it's your family, it's Wiggle here, and welcome back to my channel, and today, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a fake bruise. If you guys have followed my YouTube channel, I mean, not my YouTube channel, um, my Snapchat, you guys know I had a fake bruise right here. It says eyeshadow, and today I'm going to teach you how to do it. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need is a skin area. I'm going to be using this cut right here. It's not that really urgent. And here's the things that you need. Eyeshadow and an eyeshadow brush. This is all eyeshadow. And all the colors you need is actually orange. Is orange for the skin tone. Green and blue to make it look more sick. Disgusting. No. <sighs> if you have purple, even better. Looks a blue. But since I don't have purple, I have to use green. But that looks just as well. But purple would be better. So what you're going to do? So I have something in my eye. I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna take part the. When you want a bruise, and I recommend like a spot that has like a cut, like this spot right here. So what you're gonna do is gonna take your eyeshadow. This is the one I'm using, and it's from Wet and Wild. And then it has two two colors in here, but those um fell off. I don't know how, but they just came off. I don't know why. So yeah. I'm just gonna take some orange. Um, that much orange will do. Just like that much is good. See it? Then you're going to go around the whole surface like this. This is going to be the skin, and then obviously go inside of it and try to kind of blend it in with your skin. If you need more, you can get more. Let's don't forget to blow at it. So we're just going to go around just like that. This is what it should look like until you're done. And you can add more as you go. This is just mine. This is what it looks like now. You got this, but it doesn't look as cool. Well, it looks cool on camera, but trust me, it's just orange. <laughs> and then you're going to take some blue. Like, preferably this kind of blue. And that should be enough. Brush it. Brush it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go in the middle only to where you want the bruise to be. Then you're just kind of going to like, this is kind of going to create like that um, disgusting grayish kind of feel. Like, you know, when you get a bruise, it's kind of like grayish, you know, and disgusting and hideous. So you're just going to do that. Kind of rub it with your hand, and I'm actually going to put a little bit more orange around it. And I'm not going to forget to blend it in. Then just take some more of that, blend it in. Then this is what it should look like now. Then you can take some green and kind of go in the inside, like this. Take some green, go on the inside, take some green. And the green is what's going to make it look even more disgusting. Then you're going to take more orange and kind of just put it around. And you're going to try your best to make it look like an actual bruise just from that. Okay. 
So there we go. It doesn't really look like a beer is what we're actually gonna do is take some orange, fill it in. We'll put some orange on top of it. To make it look more natural. Like you bruise yourself. This kind of will make the bruise come to life. And trust me on here, it does not look that bad. But in real life, it looks disgusting. Make it look more natural, take some more orange, and just scrape it. Until it gives you that bruisey kind of color. And just play around with it. And obviously now it looks pretty good, but on camera it does not look like that. Kind of looks like a birthmark, but in real life it actually looks pretty disgusting. And again, make it look more natural. Put some orange eyeshadow over it, so it looks way more natural. There we go. I just made a fake bruise, and uh, and again, take some orange and kind of just go like that. Then take your finger and kind of just go like that. We give that real bruise look. There we go. So it's my fake bruise. It's all done and complete. I know it kind of looks really disgusting on camera, but trust me, it looks way more realistic in real life. Go check out it on my Snapchat if you guys want to see it. And just kind of rub it like this. Then voila, you guys have a fake bruise. And now I'm going to teach you guys how to make a fake swollen ankle. So let's get started. Okay, what you're going to do is going to take your ankle. Right here. And what you're going to do is gonna take the orange and go all the way around it. And you're just going to go on the ankle this time. And what orange will do. And the orange makes it look more thick. As you can see. Can you guys see it? I put some orange eyeshadow on it. Put some more orange eyeshadow on it. Just kind of make it look natural. Well, not really natural. This is great if you guys want to prank your family members. Now, yeah, once you got a good layer of orange on your skin, you're just going to take blue. And you're just going to go, like, on the areas you want it to look swollen. This is going to make it look dark and disgusting. You don't want to put too much. You still want to make it look natural. And then you can take just a little bit of green and just put it on and blend it. All you basically need is kind of like two little like brushes of that green. And then voila, you got a nice swollen ankle. This is this is what happened today. I got a bruise and a swollen ankle. And yeah, and again you can take some orange, make it look more natural. And you can take some orange and kind of cover it a little bit just to make it look more natural beating kind of. There we go. And once you got your fake swollen ankle, I'm 
really fake swollen ankle. Um, you'll be able to trick your friends and family into thinking you have a really bad swollen ankle and a really bad bruise. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And comment down below any other makeup videos you want me to do. And I'll see you next time. Bye.